This is the Cube Crash Silverlight, uh, an app for the Android platform, available for free on the Android Marketplace. This app's not the Cube Crash game itself, but a tool to help you solve and develop your own strategies for the game. The app allows you to take pictures of real Cube Crash boards. It will scan the image and generate an internal representation of it. You can then use the app's built-in solver to try and solve the board. Uh, but this is the, the light version, the uh, strongest solving options are, are, are disabled. So we can see the caption action by uh, going to this screen uh, where we press the, the capture button. This will knock us into the, the preview mode. Uh, now I don't have a, a crash board at the moment so um, what you can do is press this uh, blue Peter button and it will generate an image uh, it comes bundled with the app to give you an idea of what how, how it works. So here it's this is actually a picture of a real board. Um, the, the app will work out where the where it thinks the board borders are. If it gets that slightly wrong, you can you can adjust it using using this um, <coughs> using, just touching the screen. Um, obviously, it's fairly accurate to start with. Um, once you're happy with that, you can press OK and we go back and we can see the, the rendered board here. If there are a few mistakes, you can always correct them by using the, the edit button. Here you just touch the screen, uh, find the cube, or you can use the, the arrow keys to, to navigate. Um, and then you press the colour of the, the particular board uh, as, as appropriate. So perhaps that one should have been red, we can change that to red. Um, and then once we're happy, we're, we go back to here. Uh, now before we kick the solver off, we want to set the strength. So here, you just click and hold on the on the board, and we get the two strength options. The weak is will be quick, um, but might not solve the board. Uh, so we'll we'll go for normal. And and with all cube crash boards, the number of blocks left is important. So maybe in this example, we've only got. Um, it's 156 blocks left, which means all the cubes have to be removed. Uh, so we we're set now. We can press the solve button, and uh, off it goes. Try to find solutions and uh, let it run. So it's found one. Uh, once it's found one, you can it, well it highlights the, the the first move to play, and then you use these little cursor keys at the bottom here to to move through each each move. Uh, and if we we keep going, we can see that um, yes, indeed this solution uh, resulted in you know, the cubes being removed and we can uh, always rewind using this button. Okay, so um, that's basically it for this light version. If, if you like this then you know why not try the, the Cube Crash Solver Plus. This carries a, a small fee but is a fully functional version with stronger solving capability. Another feature such as the ability to, to play and rewind your own moves uh, and strategies uh, and um, the ability to generate random boards for you for you to try. Okay, thanks for looking.